Welcome to this brief video on how to use SSH Connect Secure to change your unsecured legacy FTP file transfers into secure file transfers without changing your FTP scripts. My name is Joe Scaff and I am the Director of Customer Services at SSH Communication Security. Many organizations are still utilizing unsecured FTP and doing so can lead to data and user access rights being compromised. SSH's Connect Secure product allows for a conversion of unsecured FTP to the secure FTP protocol. The setup is simple and can be made transparent to the end user. I will first demonstrate the risk. As you can see, I have a simple FTP script created that copies a file that contains credit card order information. As just an example, this file contains a list of 16 digit numbers to represent credit cards. To demonstrate the security risk, I will have a packet sniffing tool running and filtered by FTP traffic only. When I execute the script, you can see that the packet sniffing tool will start logging data. And you can very quickly start to see the username and the password in clear text. I can also change the filter to look at the data inside the file that was transferred, in this case 16 digit credit card numbers. You can immediately see that the credit card data information was sent over the network in clear text. More complex filters can be used to capture different formats of credit card numbers, social security numbers, and any number of data elements. Now that we've seen the problem, we can go over how to remedy the situation. I've already installed Connect Secure, but there's no complicated installation process. For Windows environments, you simply double click the MSI installation file. The next thing I want to do is go to the destination server and shut down the FTP service. This is an optional step, but in many organizations their goal is not only to get off the unsecured FTP, but to disable or remove it from their systems altogether. Before moving forward, I want to further verify that the FTP service is no longer running. As expected, with the FTP server shut down, the connection fails. Once Connect Secure is installed, we want to bring up the configuration and create a filter rule that will be set to monitor the TCP IP stack for the FTP protocol. In this case, we will monitor all applications in case there are multiple FTP client applications being used. We will monitor all outbound IP addresses to ensure we capture all connections and finally we will set the port to be captured to be 21, the FTP port. We will then set the action to be taken in the event that there is a connection detected going over port 21. I will set this to FTP to SFTP conversion and leave the setting to default. This will allow Connect Secure to use the existing unsecured FTP credentials for authentication. Now that our rule is set, I will execute the same script again. But first I want to open a clean packet monitoring window to make sure that the username and password 
and the data are all encrypted now. You can see that ConnectSecure has intercepted the FTP and converted it to SFTP and the file is still transferred to the destination. Looking at the packet sniffer, you can see there are no FTP protocol communications anymore. There's also no way to find the 16-digit credit card information that was transferred. We could further verify that the filter is working by opening up a manual connection and leaving it open. Then we can utilize the Tectia ConnectSecure connection status window to see that there is an SSH FTP proxy connection open. This means that that connection is using the FTP to SFTP conversion. This concludes this video demo on securing your legacy FTP connections with ConnectSecure. For additional informative videos, please visit us at ssh.com.